Liverpool versus everybody, just coming with the, another show, kind of a legendary show. Um, a lot of times after the games, we so taken over by emotion, whether it be good, bad, or whatever, um, that a lot of times it's just kind of a rush of feelings and emotion and um, maybe not always be able to say things, maybe not always able to say everything that I want, um, but also just time to kind of dwell on things, read some things, listen to some things, um, look back at some highlights, look at the post-match reaction, um, and stuff like that. And, and the first thing I'm going to start out with is shouting out Mo Salah. Now, of course, everyone and their mother, um, Liverpool fans, um, here and far, are celebrating Salah. And of course, you know, especially behind the team, you're going to celebrate players, especially someone who's in such great form like him. At the same time, he, he's yet another African player that I feel like no one really saw this even being possible, if we're being honest. Um, anywhere you look in here, you know, the same thing with Monty when he came. You know, he's too expensive. What has he done? Um, in Salah's case, he's a Chelsea reject. Um, he's playing in Italy. It's not really that tough of a league. There were so many things said, um, and very little, from what I saw personally, of, yes, we got Mo Salah, a great player. Um, I don't think I'm special for being one of the ones who was like, yes, we're getting a great player. My point is, if you really watch football and watch, like, like um, really pay attention to certain players um, and really get an idea of who they are and then how they grow, um, I was seeing him in Fiorentina, and, and I knew that he was special then, and I was thinking, man, if we can get this guy, which is one random night I was watching, um, I forget who they were playing, but he was slicing through somebody's defense. And um, I mean, he was just lightning and fast. And I remember him at Chelsea and things of that nature. And um, I don't think he really got uh, so much of an opportunity under um, Moreno. We know how Moreno is. If, if, he's, if he's if something about you, he's not feeling you, he'll find a way to, to, to keep you off the pitch. You know what I mean? Um, so, but I, I've, been, I've been noticing Salah for a long time and never in, my, in a million years that I think we'd ever get him so even the rumor, and I hate rumors because most times it's, it's all BS, but even when the rumor came out, it's one of those, those rumors that you hope, man, I, I, I really, I really, I hope there's some, there's some substance to this. Um, it was, obviously, we got him and um, just doing an amazing job for us, amazing job and, and uh, really, really proud of him and um, he's just a hard worker and I don't see this stopping. I mean, Salah's almost a guaranteed goal scorer every single game. You know, win, lose, draw. I mean, even in our household, at least, when we talk about score predictions and who the goal scorers are, um, between between us, we, we have different goal scorers. But I think the common thing is that Salah is, already, is always in that list. You know, whether it's Onyx having it 3-0, me having it 2-1, um, my wife having it 4-2, whatever the case may be, it, it's always Salah. And sometimes more than once which is what he did today. So a beautiful thing um, for me. I, I don't really need to get caught up in him breaking up a, a record that Torres had or sweat. It's not about that. It's about the players who were here. I mean, it kills me when people bring up these records and comparisons and I could care less about that. Um, I want Salah to keep doing his thing and I believe he will. Um, on to Alberto Moreno. Um, much has been said, questions about um, Robertson coming in and listen, I get it. I would like to see him more as well, especially in Champions League. It's just good to see what we have. We saw a very, very small kind of sample size at this point, uh, which honestly for me just isn't enough. I think he needs to come in at some point, um, wherever that may be, and maybe, you know, get knocked out of the, the club competition. Um, maybe that's why that feels so bad, because guys like him, Solanke, maybe Woodburn. Um, Maybe uh, Danny Ward. I don't know. You know, maybe those guys would have been guided, but I don't know. I mean, I, I get it, but I just don't. Alberto's not putting the foot wrong. Literally, man, he's just he's playing so good, and and you saw you saw um, glimpses of that up until this point. I mean, it's hard to remember those things because it feels like you know he was our Lovren, um for last year, um, our Lovren this year for last year. You know, he was he was kind of that guy that people. Um, just cringe when they saw him in the, in the start 11. So, um, you know, you, you forget that. But he's had his moments, believe it or not, in 
It's just nice to see that he's matured in such a very, very, I shouldn't say mature. It, something's clicked on for him. Some light switch has come on. I don't know what it is. I, I honestly believe it has a lot to do with Robertson being in there and him feeling like, you know what, I really need to fight for my spot now. Um, and even surpassing Milner. Um, so, you know, him keeping Robertson not even in the team, let alone on the bench, and keeping Milner on the bench is, is big. It's big. And, and, and also, it's just good to see that Klopp kept his trust in him. So, um, yeah, proud of him. New baby girl. Congratulations for that. Uh, that's got to be beautiful, wonderful feeling um, to bring in an angel to your, to your family, an additional angel. I believe he already has one daughter. So that's good. Great news. Um, yeah, really proud of him. Saw some of the images from him playing in Spain. He looked happy. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we're going to see Robo anytime soon. Then again, I thought we'd see Gomez today, and we didn't. So, you know, Klopp's kind of the element of surprise. I think we've definitely seen that uh, several times to know enough that um, when you think he's going to do something, he might do the total opposite thing, and the thing you wouldn't imagine that he would do. So, um, yeah, happy about that. Um, of course, this was the, you know, the, the Van Dyke Saga Bowl uh, game. I don't know. It, you know, it was, it, everything was about Virgil Van Dyke, it seemed like, which, and I, and I get it. Um, and, yeah, if we can get him, that'd be great. Um, back to rumors. Listen, and I, usually I don't really feed into them. But there's always a player here and there. As I said, Salah was one of them. This guy, Kara... And Boji, and Boji, I might be saying his name wrong. Probably am. I'm probably butchering his name. Sorry about that. But Senegalese international, really close with Mane. I think he's the captain of Senegal. Uh, defender for Andalet. He's 28, so he's a bit older than uh, Van Dyke. I think Van Dyke is 20. Where's Van Dyke? I think Van Dyke is 25. I can't remember, but he's definitely slightly younger than um, this guy from Andalet. But the guy's big. He's huge. Um, honestly, it'd be great to have another African player in there. Um, we got Keita already coming. Um, of course, Salah, Matip, Mane. Um, yeah, our team is nicely filling out with a bunch of African players. That's actually really good to see. Refreshing. Um, who who would have thought it? But, uh, yeah, I, I like him, man. I like him a lot. Um, I've watched a lot of the African Cups games um, over the past few seasons. And um, Senegal definitely seems like one of those teams that are definitely um, fighting to be one of the better teams, one of the teams that you, you think about um, being a power in Africa. And a lot of times you think of Ivory Coast, of course the past season's Ghana, even Nigeria. Uh, a lot of the North African teams are doing really well. Um, but Senegal is a team that I think can cause a lot of trouble um, in the World Cup. I think they will. They got a really, really strong squad. Um, they seem all very, very tight-knit as well. Tight-knit group. But um, yeah, I like him. And I, I think... You got to have, I don't think Klopp's going to make that, that mistake again of, okay, I can't get Van Dyke, so I'm going to settle with what I have. He's got to get somebody. He's got to get somebody. Um, we can really, really turn the corner in this season, man. And I, I'm not I'm not jumping ahead, I'm not jumping the gun, but I was talking to Onyx earlier today, and he was saying who I thought the best team was. And I said, fully fit. I think we're right up there with, with City and, and Tottenham. I mean, really, you know, you, you look at the players, you look at the style we play with a fully fit team. I think we match up good with any team up there, you know. Um, so, I mean, call me deluded or whatever, but I, I, I believe that we're, we're a really, really good team, especially when we're, we're kicking and everything's kind of going how it's supposed to be going. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was good. And I hate to look past Sevilla. And I, I'm not looking past Sevilla. I just really – I can't wait to play Chelsea. I cannot wait to play them. Um I'm not going to get too much conversation about it, but I, I really can't wait to play them. So this is going to be a, good, a tough one. Um, of course, we'll come with some, some pre-matches um, close to that game. But um, we know it's Sevilla, and, and we know how the last game went and the, the beef between the man, the silly beef between the managers. The guy was throwing the ball on the touchline, and then the coaching staff, were they were getting that clock. They thought clock got him sent off. We know what it is. You know, it's Moreno's boy the club. He used to play with them. They beat us in the Europe League. We, we know what it is. And um, going out to Spain, you know, we got to just be, be, be at the top of our game and, and, you know, replicate what we've been doing the last few games. Um, really, really proud, man. I just can't say that enough. Um, you know, I think conceding one goal in the last three matches, I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, doing well. Doing well. And, you know, it's a funny old league, man. You know, Arsenal... 
really came to play and, and, and beat Tottenham today. I don't think many people at all, probably a half of the Arsenal fan base, whether it be a Derby or not, probably didn't see that going on, the way they've been feeling lately. So um, it's a funny old league, things, things happen. And, um, you know, again, we got to just control our own destiny. That's, that's what it comes down to. So not a whole lot to say tonight, man. Just had some thoughts and wanted to get it off my chest before I forgot it. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for some of the comments lately. Uh, I really appreciate them. Um, I probably should have had a list to kind of shout out people individually. Uh, a lot of things have been said in the comments lately that um, I've read it. If I haven't responded to it, I've read it. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, you all know who you are who have said certain things. Um, so I really appreciate that, the ones who, who, who enjoy what we're doing and, and um, you know, like to get involved and, and communicate and, and things like that. It's really cool. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, be back um, in a couple of days already. A uh, bunch of fixtures come, bunch of fixtures coming up. So um, you'll probably be seeing a lot of us or a lot of me one way or another. So enjoy the rest of your week. I think we've got one game tomorrow, which is Swafford and West Ham. David Moyes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the weekend, folks. Uh, be good to yourself. Be good to your families. Enjoy your holidays. Um, and, yeah, see you soon.